Hello everybody, I'm GG. Welcome back to this tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to take a look at creating our own sign shop. Because in the last episode, we made a coin system and now we actually want to implement rewards for that coin system. So as you can see, I've created a new listener class. Uh, let me go into the golden mobs file over here called sign shop. And when you create a new uh, listener class, don't forget to register the event in the main on enable. So within sign shop, we are going to do event handler, of course, public void on player click sign. And it's going to be a player interact event E. And within that interact event, we want to check for a couple of things. We want to do if E dot get action and loading dot equals action wait action dot uh, right click air uh, block I mean sorry right click block uh, because then they clicked a block and what we also want to do is if e dot get and uh, then you need to do get hand dot equals because if you do player interactive and it will fire twice as seen in the zombie GUI, the e GUI video, uh, equipment slot, mint slot dot hand, because you want to check if it's done with that. Now, what we actually want to do as well is another check, and that's uh, we only want to fire this event if e dot get clicked block dot get type dot equals material dot wall sign so only if it's a wall sign why a wall sign because you can also do uh, or uh, if it's a normal sign but just for the sake of this video I'm just gonna use only the wall sign now we know it's a wall sign we can actually create a new sign variable yes there is a class sign that you can use as a variable and over here I'm just gonna call it s equals and then we cast it to sign E dot get clicked block but that will return an error as you can see because uh, let me first implement the block not the material block sign it will return an error if you use this not within the IDE but on the server because we need to do dot get block uh, dot get state because we want the state of the sign and not the block over here what we can do is within the sign we can do s dot get line we can just do get line and let's get the first line so get line zero dot equals and let's just make this shop for now uh, shop with those brackets around them and over here what we want to do is just in the last class uh, just in the last um, episode we created in the zombie listener we created a uh, deposit now we want to check if uh, we first get the player equals e dot get player and over here what we want to do is if uh, golden mobs dot econ dot get balance and then what we want to do is p and that will return an error because we need to do p dot get name it's a weird thing with fault p dot get name and if that is higher than let's say um, 10 if it's higher than 10 or wait we can remove get name by the way no, yes we can I'm sorry uh, I forgot to do this that's why return an error above 10 then we want to withdraw 10 so mobs dot econ dot withdraw player p 10 and we made the payer play uh, pay 10 and what we just do is just add item so p dot get inventory dot add item new item stack material dot diamond and then we just add a diamond and for the neatness sake I'm just gonna send the player a message send message uh, with you bought a diamond for ten dollar and that's how easy it is to make a sign shop in the next episode we are going to take a look at how to create a sign shop within the world so uh, the other side of this plugin this is the registering part Next time we're going to do the creation part. Uh, 
because you only want to uh, have people with certain permission or with uh, OP rights to be able to create the shop. Um, at least I want that. And we're going to take a look at that next episode. So let's go and check this out on the server. So we're inside Minecraft now, start up the server, and let's go take a look at our sign shop. I went ahead and created a, let me set time today again. Uh, because last time we checked the zombies and we had to do time night. But now time day. As you can see, I created a sign. It's not that nice because next episode we're going to make this nicer. And it says so shop on the first line or line zero if you count with Java. And if I right click this, you see I bought the diamond for 10. Let me just uh, do slash balance or slash ball. And that will return 3, 4, 1. And if I click again and I do that again, it's 10 less. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comments or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord channel. Go there, also for general chat. And hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.